Ching. Oh, hello. Welcome to the K6 project. Um, this is, uh, I guess, the, the day two uh, um, uh, video. I'm approaching my uh, second stop of the day. Um, my first stop was a village called Heather, uh, which was really nice. Uh, the telephone box was in absolutely superb condition. Uh, privately owned box, not the parish council, but the manor house owns it. Uh, got that information from a few locals. At the locals. end of the road, turn right, Main Street. <coughs> that I was speaking to. Um, I would all oh, hang on. We've got a horse coming up. Uh, all clear behind. First horse of the day. Uh, yesterday I had about four, so um, right. doing about normal here. <coughs> so anyway, yes, Heather. Um, really nice telephone box. Um, they put a phone in it um, as a replica, but it was one of those uh, Disney Pluto phones, so that was a bit strange to see in there. Um, but no, it was very nice to see it uh, clean and tidy. So I'm um, not sure how far we are. Oh, I can see the uh, next telephone box. So um, let's just find somewhere appropriate to uh, park up. After 300 yards, you have reached your destination. So I can see where I'm going to uh, stick myself. Okay, we've got that pink line on the video again. Uh, there's not a lot I can do about this. This is a uh, reflection of sunlight through the lens. It's just given us this vertical pink line. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Um, I'm sure there's something uh, I'm doing wrong with the camera, but there you go. Anyway, we're about a mile from our next stop. Uh, I must say the uh, land around here is absolutely stunning. There's so many uh, great little views of, of sort of like After little bits of valleys, etc. Turn left, Switzerland Road. And as you heard, we're going to Switzerland. So I don't need my passport, it's not that kind of Switzerland. Yeah, it's just left the uh, Great Central Railway. Um, I think I'm heading to the next station down the line. Um, I didn't Turn bother to right, buy Forest Road. a platform ticket or anything like that because I'm literally just popping in to take a picture of the telephone box. So uh, I've sort of taken a picture from um, the best angle I can, which is not bad. But uh, I will definitely be visiting the uh, Great Central Railway properly at some point in the future. Nothing to do with telephone boxes, just, you know, go and sit on a train, have a cup of tea and watch the world go by. Why not? Um, so uh, I've literally just popped in and out and I've got a funny feeling the next stop will just be a pop in and out. But, uh... You have reached your destination, Great Central Road. Okay, so um, that's Loughborough over and done with. There was only two uh, telephone boxes to visit, both at uh, railway stations. Um, the first one being the Great Central Railway, so uh, I spent a bit of time there having a little wander around the platforms. Um, yeah, definitely worth a visit. Um, really big steam locomotive, which uh, I hadn't expected. Uh, normally when I go to these uh, small little railway places you tend to find their really little uh, shunter type locos that was a proper mainline loco so uh, I'll look forward to visiting that and having a proper ride. Uh, the second box was uh, just at the main station itself the standard you know sort of British Rail uh, terminus 
Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still behind, uh, mainly because obviously Loughborough is a town and it's busy and it has traffic and uh, you just don't seem to get any momentum. Um, hopefully at this next location I'm going to, uh, Hoxton, is Hoxton? Uh, Horton, sorry, or Houghton, H-O-T-O-N, Houghton. Uh, I've got two boxes on the same street, um, so uh, you know I should be able to After tick off a couple fairly yards, quickly. Turn right, Wineswell Road. Then take the second right. <coughs> one's a um, public box, and the other one's a private box. And I've just spotted the first one there. I'll come back to that in a sec. Or maybe that's even yet another box. Turn right, Wineswell Road, then take the second right. Turn so, right, Joseph Close, then you have reached your destination. So I can see the public box, that's here. I just need to turn around. Okay, so we just done uh, Houghton. Uh, I was wrong, there wasn't two boxes. There were three boxes, so... Um, oh God, let me just do this sat-nav thing. God, the sun so bright at the moment it's absolutely glorious so much so I'm going to need to take my jacket off and or open a window I think I'm going to elect to open a window all right so I've just plumbed in the next destination and you will as arrive always, at your destination at 12:28 p.m. I'm facing the wrong direction. Turn left, old parsonage lane. Yeah, well you can't tell me two seconds from the junction. At the end of the road. Turn right, A16, Loughborough Road, then take the second right. <coughs> so uh, I'll speak up a little bit because probably a bit of wind noise. Turn right, then take the second right. So that was uh, Houghton Village where there are two private boxes opposite each other. Um, there'll be a picture I'm sure online uh, I'll, I'll put up later where you can see both private boxes together on opposite sides of the road from each other. After 200 yards, turn right, Wineswell Road. And the third one is an old public box that's now being used as a book uh, exchange. So that's the first turn proper right. book exchange I've seen in about 20 or so boxes. Um, yeah, unusual one in that all the windows are blacked out and uh, I, I guess they're set up like that so you could put display items in. Um, Usual selection of books, pretty mediocre. Um, Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades of Grey Return, anything by Jilly Cooper and or sort of like your standard bestsellers. Um, I always hope to find a really good book, but I've only found one so far which I've taken from any book exchange in, in the last six months and um, a, a guide to the public toilet. Why not? So um, it, it, it's a book about public toilets all over the world that are quite artistic. So uh, yeah, I've had about a 30 second look at it and realized that it's, um, it's pretty junk as well. So um, that's gonna be dumped off at the next book exchange that I come to in a few days time. Um, didn't get much from it. But um, as for finding first editions or anything, no, never gonna happen. So anyway, where are we? Uh, we're a mile and a half to our next box. We are, what, 12.26 at the moment. About halfway through the number of boxes that I wanted to look at. So we've made up a bit of time in, in Houghton, so that's good. Uh, let's just hope that I can make up a little bit more time as we go on. After 100 yards, turn left, the stop well, then you have reached your destination. You have reached your destination, the stock well.
So this is AB Kettle. Very strange name for a village. I shall find out why it's called that later, obviously. But uh, that's the first dozen boxes done today, and I sort of listed myself 21. So I've got nine more to do, and it's one o'clock. So I've got plenty of time now. I seem to have made up a lot of time uh, when I did the uh, uh, Hotton village with the three of them all together. I must say, it's a really, really bright, sunny day. Really clear skies, not a little fluffy cloud here or there, but it is cold. I mean, if uh, if I stand outside for more than a few minutes, you suddenly realise how cold your road, ears have got. Turn left. So it would be nice to get some feedback on these videos. Um, these might be an absolute load of rubbish to some people and you know you're perfectly entitled to say so. Um, other people may be enjoying them. Um, I'm trying to find a nice balance of um, in-car camera shots plus I'm going to delay this video a little bit until I process the photos so I can add some photos to this video um, as well as my ugly mug with the fluffy beard but um, you know they're not a, a five minute exercise to oh that was a bit of a hole a bit of bumpiness coming up here um, after 400 yards turn right main street Anyway, if you like the videos, let me know, um, leave us a comment, you know, whether it be a Facebook, an email or whatever. I really just need some feedback on them.